All right, for our first project, we're going to look into Photoshop and we're going to learn to crop and straighten a photo that's been taking. So when we first load up Photoshop, uh, we'll get a window like this and then we'll click on open and we'll look for our images. Now on the NAS, I've already got a selection of photos for you to choose from to use. So if you remember to log into the NAS, um, I've got a tutorial on that if you've forgotten how to do that. But obviously log into the NAS, we'll go to tutorials, and we're looking for Photoshop, that's what we're working on, so Photoshop. And then we're going to select Crop and straighten, source images, and then we've got a bunch of images here. Now what we can do, if you don't like this view, you can just of course in your finder here, you can change your view, and if you select an image, it will show you a preview on the, on the right hand side. Let's find an image to work with. This is a pretty good one because you can see it's not very straight. Um, Let's find another one. Yeah, let's use this one here. This is a pretty good one. So we'll select this one, and then, of course, we'll come down here and, and select Open. And there we go. So we've got our image open. Now, I've got timeline. I've got different things. Let's take a look at Photoshop just for a second. Whoop. Obviously, my layout is all strange, so let's go ahead and reset that to default. So to reset your layout, if you get things um, all over the place or scattered or you can't find something, it's always good to re reset it. So to do that, we'll just go to Window, Workspace, Essentials, or set it to whatever you're trying to work on. So it's Window, Workspace. To change the workspace, you go Window, Workspace, and then whether it's Photography, Graphic and Web, Painting, Essentials, whatever it is. So Photography, maybe. Um, and you can see how the workspace changes for you depending on what you select. Another way to change your workspace is to, instead of coming up here to Window, you could actually select this little icon over here in the right corner and then do the same thing. Now, if you like a certain workspace, uh, you can actually uh, create a new workspace and give it a name, so you can always uh, recall that later. Down here in the lower right, since we're over on this side of the screen, we've got our layers, our layers panel, channels, and paths. So we'll work with the, the paths and the channels later on. Right now, layers panel. You can see we've got one layer, which is our simple image. Okay. On the left, over here, this is our tool pan, our tools panel, our tool palette. And you have all these different tools. And right now, we're going to be focused on. You've got the selection tool. Um, we're going to be looking at this one right here, the Crop and Straighten tool, or the Crop tool. Now if I select the Crop tool, you can see there's like a little frame that comes up. And a lot of these different tools, if I hold down my left mouse button, we've got some different options, perspective crop or whatever. You know, lasso, we'll look at the lasso tools and selection tools later, but so there's different options. Right now we're looking at the basic crop, and you can see like this panel there's like a little frame that comes up and as I move my cursor around the image you can see it actually change like from from like a, a like a rotation to just like a, a simple like if I want to change the aspect ratio you know make it narrow okay um, I could grab a corner if I'm I could actually if I have it selected whoop, I could just drag and create my own, right? And I could drag this corner out however I want to. I could come up to the ratio at the top. And if I know this is going to be for a TV, I could say it's uh, 1620 or 19, 1920 by 1080. So I could just type in 1920 by 1080 for pixels and crop it that way. I could clear that out. Or I could change my ratio to 5 by 7. I want this to be an image that I, I want to frame. There's a 5 by 7. Oh, but that's vertical. This is horizontal. I could swap that just by clicking the, the, that button there and swap it to a 5 by 7. So those are all different ways of cropping your image. Um, 
I'm going to clear this out for a second again. Now, that's cropping. Once I have it cropped the, the way I want, I could hit return or enter on my keyboard and it will set it up that way. But I'm not done yet. I want to straighten this That's because this is not straight. To straighten it, in the upper center here, there's a, looks like a little bubble level or just a level. If I click that, now my icon changes and you can see the level that's right next to the plus sign from my cursor. Now I could drag along any sort of line, my horizon line or any line that I know is straight or level. For instance, this fence in the background I know is straight. This sidewalk here, I know that's straight. So let's drag a line just by clicking once and then holding down that left mouse button and dragging over. And then I'm just going to line that up like so. And I'm going to, once I have it straight, I'm going to release my left mouse button. And you can see how it just tilted that image on, on, you know, to the left there. So now it's straight. And if once that's done, all I have to do is hit enter or return on my keyboard. There we go. And it's cropped. It's that simple. So we've just cropped and straightened our photo in just one easy step. Okay. So let's go ahead and practice that by cropping and straightening, straightening three images from, uh, that are on our NAS or on our network just to start this project off.